And tonight we are hearing from LGBTQ advocates after Washington University decided to end transgender care to minors. One health care provider in the state says they are still providing care. Five in your side's Diamond Palmer joins us live outside the transgender center at St. Louis Children's Hospital to detail this. Well, Kelly, Planned Parenthood says they're still providing gender affirming care because they say they're in compliance with Missouri's new law. But as for WashU, they say that providing things like hormones and puberty blockers will put them at risk for lawsuits. Now, minors that were prescribed these hormones and puberty blockers before August 28th actually still qualify under the new law to continue treatments, but the university says that's exactly what could put them at risk for these legal challenges. Doctors at Planned Parenthood of St. Louis region tell me they're only seeing people who are 16 years old or older if they have established care with Planned Parenthood already. They also say they will plan to open their doors to people who are 16 years and older who've established care with other providers who may be losing access to care. I'm heartbroken uh, for Missourians who are in the process of figuring out this gender journey, who with their families have found a reliable provider and now have found that uh, because the state is attacking them, their family and their health care, um, they're faced with some real serious decisions. Now, advocates we spoke to earlier at Promo Missouri says the biggest thing that they are bracing for right now is that Missouri lawmakers will get rid of this sunset clause when session begins. Now, this current sunset clause says that this law right now will stand for the next four years, but they're worried it could all become permanent. And to that, they say they will continue this fight. Reporting live in the Central West End, Diamond Palmer, 5 on your side.